Hi everyone, this is Charandeep Kapoor. Welcome to another video on Delta Exchange in which we'll be talking about our latest feature that is signal trading. Now, using this feature, you can get started and almost blow up your algo trading careers in which you can now algo trade without learning a single line of code, number one. Number two, you won't have to depend upon any third party application such as TradeRon or Next Level Bot. You can now execute all of your algo trading strategies from inside just Delta Exchange and just TradingView. So both of these will connect and the signals from TradingView will automatically generate a trade on your Delta Exchange account. Now, why should you become an algo trader? What are the uses of algo trading? We have already discussed that it saves you time. It takes away human emotion. Uh, crypto is a 24 hour trading asset. So you anyways can't look at the screen all of the times. You don't need to now draw support resistance and other lines and you can just back test a strategy and simply deploy it and you can also copy other traders strategy so what do we have to do for this so this is a very new feature which is new in the world of trading so just click on the signal trading uh, button from the top bar create any uh, webhook name so let me call it test12 then it will ask you for the account name so account name i've taken it as the main account and source will be trading view okay now click on acknowledge and understand the risk and you can read the risks and acknowledgements here before doing that okay so what do we have to do we simply have to set up a webhook which we are doing in here then secondly we have to create a strategy on a platform like trading view which we will just do and we will link this webhook to the trading strategy now these will be a lot of new informations for a lot of you who are not into tech and you may not understand what a webhook is or what is happening here. So let me know in the comment section if you want a detailed video about any of these topics. But I'll just take 30 seconds to give you a simple explanation on what a webhook is. So understand that there are two systems. One is TradingView and one is Delta Exchange. Now what TradingView will do is, let's suppose a buy signal on a trading strategy or an algo strategy is generated on TradingView. It will send that using the webhook URL to Delta Exchange and that will be a triggered. So when will it happen? So it will be triggered only when a buy signal is generated or a sell signal is generated. When that trigger reaches to Delta Exchange, the Delta Exchange uh, will either create the buy position or the sell position trade on your account automatically without you having to do anything. Okay. So this is a simple explanation of uh, what a webhook is. If you don't understand what a webhook is, what a 2F is, or a lot of other things inside this video, let me know in the comment section below and I'll create a proper video for all of the topics you want. Okay. So let's click on create webhook. It will ask me for an email verification and a 2FA code. If you've not already set up your 2FA on Delta Exchange, you'll have to do that first. There are already videos on the channel to help you do that. So I will just enter my email verification and my 2FA code and I'll then I'll click on submit and show you the next screen after that. After entering the uh, 2FA code, you will be taken to this pop-up. Now what does this pop-up say? It says that the webhook has been created uh, successfully. So what that means? So we just talked about these two systems, right? We have now created a webhook using which TradingView can now send a signal, a buy or a sell signal to Delta Exchange and which uh, and using which delta exchange can execute a buy or a sell trade okay so what do we have to do next so we have to select a strategy on trading view number one number two we have to open the strategy settings and choose the quantity etc which i'll just tell you in a few minutes and also uh, we have to create an alert and paste the trading view message along with the webhook url so that trading view news which strategy are we going to execute and which account or which webhook so which uh, system which uh, we are going to execute the strategy on okay now i am here on trading view and this is bitcoin perpetual futures so basically what we have to do now is select a strategy okay you can select any strategy you want for example i'll just go and select the rsi strategy just as an example and as we can see the rsi strategy's back tested return is this over time and this is on the one day time frame so as we can see the net profit is not good why is the net profit not good because bitcoin usually does not perform well 
with the relative strength index strategy. So let's choose a strategy on which Bitcoin performs well. So Bitcoin performs well uh, because since Bitcoin has high IV, it performs well on the super trend strategy on a longer time frame. So if you do a one hour time frame, you will get a good net profit. If you do it on the four hour time frame, you'll again get a good net profit. But if you reduce the time frame, you'll get a bad result. So just for the purpose of this video, let's understand on the one day time frame. Now I'm taking this strategy as an example only, but you can choose any strategy you want. And if you want me to create a video for you in which I will explain you which strategies are best and which strategies you can learn and also give you a copy of the strategies which I am doing. Let me know in the comments below. Let us understand how this strategy has performed in the past. So first of all, let's open the list of trades. And as we can see, this uh, strategy started from the 28th of April 2020. So we have more than four years of back tested data on the strategy, which is very good. The total net profit this strategy has generated is 300 K dollars. So that is approximately 30 percent uh, overall return in net profits. OK. The total trades taken are 32 percentage profitable is 37.5. This means that if the strategy takes 100 trades, 37 of them will be profitable. But the good part about this strategy is that the profit factor is high. What is the profit factor? Profit factor is average win divided by average loss. It means that whenever you make a profit, you make 1.6 times your average loss. So let's suppose your average loss is $100 your average profit will be $160. The maximum drawdown of this strategy is less is half of the net profit and the average trade that is on an average every trade wins $9,000 which is 6% and average trade lasts for 47 bars that means for 47 days. Anyways enough about this strategy now let's learn how to put it in. So first let's define an initial capital. So what I've done is I've clicked on the settings button here and we'll define an initial capital. So just for a testing purpose, since all of you will be testing, you can set it to 10, 50 or 100 as per your wish. Then the base currency will be default. The order size, let's choose it as the minimum order size. That is one contract. Now 1000 contracts means one Bitcoin. So if we take one contract, that is the minimum size. That is 0 0.001 Bitcoin. And then we'll click on OK. After that, we'll click on add alerts. This is where the actual magic starts to happen. So what do we have to do in this window? We have to paste the message which we generated from our Delta Exchange signal trading window. So I'll just copy this message and paste it here. This message will tell trading view what the symbol is, what the ticker is, what side long or short we are doing quantity and everything else which we just selected here. And let's name this test one two and click on notifications. Also, this is the super trend strategy of 10 3. 10 means the ATR, that is the average true range, and 3 means the multiply. If you don't understand what these are, let me know in the comment section. I'll explain it to you. And then the second part is the notifications. So in the notifications, you will need to select a webhook URL. And you will need to copy and paste the webhook URL from the Delta Exchange signal trading uh, generated here. Now, to create a webhook URL, you will need to enable two factor authentication on TradingView. This is not on Delta Exchange, this is on TradingView. And this is a paid feature. So, what you have to do is first you have to uh, download an authentication app like Google Authenticate or Authy, etc. And then you have to do a phone verification. Now for the phone verification, I'll just tell you upfront that there is a fee for that. So you have to purchase this plan. The minimum plan costs around 1000 rupees if you do it annually and 1200 rupees if you do it a monthly. So you have to purchase a trading view premium to get started into this. And after you purchase the premium, set up your 2FA, you can basically paste the webhook URL code here. OK, so you can just copy the webhook URL code from the Delta Exchange window and paste it here. After you have done that, your strategy will be live. So I'll just show you an example where I've already done it. 
So I've copied the web book URL and pasted it here. You can also choose the play sound feature whenever uh, alert is come up or send an email or other features. You can explore it. These are normal trading features. And then we'll click on create. Now, one thing to note is that we just discussed this is a daily strategy. So this will execute trades very slowly. So what I particularly want you to do is I want to show you an example. So only for the purpose of this video, I'll set this to a very short time frame like five seconds so that we can get a lot of trades live on our screen right now. OK, so I'll just click on create and now the strategy is created. Now, what does this mean? So basically it means that whatever signals will be generated. So this strategy has generated a long signal here, a short signal here. So whenever this strategy generates a new signal, the signal will be automatically copied to my account and a trade will be taken. So just to show you that I'll open my account and we'll see the live trades being taken here. So I'll open the futures and you can see that I have an uh, my positions part is empty. I have no open positions. Now, since we've already discussed that we want to do it on a smaller time frame. Now, what do we want to do is that since this trade is already in a short entry, I'll go back to my Delta exchange account and I will create a short entry because uh, this short entry came after I had created my strategy. So I'll just go and create a short entry. And after this, whatever trades will be taken on uh, trading view will be reflected into my account. So as you can see, uh, just uh, alert was triggered here on uh, trading view and uh, my long entry has now changed to my short entry. And if I go to Delta exchange, the same thing has happened here also. So let me just show you the order history and you can see that the time is uh, 12 18 in 29 seconds. So just my long entry changed to my short entry here and see another trade has just executed uh, because the short entry now changed to the long entry. So this is how automatically without doing anything without like even lifting a finger you will see that trades are being automatically executed on your Delta exchange account. So current entry as you can see is a long entry and same is what is reflected on my delta exchange account now i'm doing this with only one contract size to show you an example and i'm doing this on a one second time frame which is not a good time frame uh, for an overall strategy but this is very good for testing because you will be able to know uh, if uh, the trades are being executed correctly or not now this is the end of the video if you want me to create a detailed video on any of the topic you didn't understand inside this video let me know in the comment section number one like this video if you want more content on signal trading like this if you want me to share some other interesting strategies for a long term basis for a short term basis for a scalping long term algo trading or any other basis let me know in the comment section below and i'll create more strategies for you and let me just wait one more minute for another trade entry to change from long to short so that I can show you another example. Okay, so just now a short entry was triggered. You can see here. So I had to contra uh, one contract long and to change it to two, uh, change it to one contract short. It sold two contracts and we've seen another trigger here. So let's go back to Delta exchange and see that in the order history, we have received two trades just within the space of a few seconds. So this concludes the video. This is how you can set up algo trading on your account without learning a single line of code. And if you like this video, want more content on this, let us know in the comment section below. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, one last thing to add to that. Uh, so whenever you are taking a trade, we specify the position size on trading view, right? So I specify 0.001 contracts of Bitcoin. Now it also depends upon the leverage and the margin available in your account. So I have taken here portfolio margin. So I'll first explain why a portfolio margin then why isolated margin. So in portfolio margin, you effectively get the highest leverage possible, which is usually around 90 X 100 X. As you can see, it is giving me 89.4 X leverage here. So it means to trade one contract of Bitcoin. I will have to spend. I will need to have only 0.75 USD in my account, which is roughly 60 rupees. So if you want to get started on this, you can get started with just 60 rupees. And if I change my margin mode to isolated, 
then I would need to specify the amount of leverage I have to use. So let me just change this to isolated mode. And as you can see, in case of isolated mode, I have the option of specifying the leverage myself. So how does this work? So currently the leverage is 10x, but if I want the leverage to be at 100x, I have to manually select it. Okay. So manual selection of leverage will be very important for you. Uh, the margin required to trade one Bitcoin. So one Bitcoin is trading at $67,000 currently. So if you set the leverage to 10x, you will require 67,000 divided by 10. That is $6,700. If you trade at 100x leverage, you would require only $670 to trade one Bitcoin. $670 is roughly 60,000 rupees. So that will be the margin required. So based on your account size, based on your wallet balance, based on the amount of leverage you want, if you're trading in isolated margin mode, you'll have to specify the leverage upfront at the contract level. And you'll have to specify it for Bitcoin. If you're trading Ethereum, you'll have to specify it for Ethereum, for Solana, for any token which you trade, you'll have to specify it if you're trading in the isolated margin. However, if you're trading in the portfolio margin, you don't need to specify the leverage upfront. It will be automatically selected as the highest leverage possible, whether you're trading Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana or any other altcoin. Okay. Thank you so much.